Hope you guys are ready to slay some monsters because in this tutorial we are finally adding in combat. So we'll just get right into it with a new file, control N, and we will control S, save it in our source directory as combat.c. Of course this will include pound include rogue.h as always and then uh, we're just going to start writing our combat function we'll kind of worry about how it gets called after it's done being written so we'll just call it combat and i guess we'll just return an int as we've been doing for kind of our void functions so the arguments it will take is the player so player star player and then the monster monster star monster okay and we want if it's the player attacking the monster so player attacking we want basically that means that the player runs into the monster then in that case the player attacks first but if it's the monster running into the player then the monster hits first so we'll have those two different different situations uh, so monster attacking and how we'll determine which one it is is we'll just pass it a variable and I'll be an integer and we'll say um, int oh what's a good order int order Okay, so then we'll say if order equals one, equal equals, then we'll say that's the player attacking, else it's the monster. So else it's the monster. Okay, and so if the player attacks, then the first thing we do is we go monster, we decrease the monster's health. So monster health. Which I believe is a well we go monster health minus equals because it's decreasing and we're going to decrease it by the player's attacking ability so player attacking and that's their attack skill which I don't think we've declared in our dot h so switch over to the dot h let's make sure we have those in so the monster does have health player has health but doesn't have attack so int attack and we're just keeping things simple we won't worry about defense levels or things like that okay so if the monster has been killed then well that's the monster's dead but if it hasn't then the monster is going to then attack the player so we say if monster health is greater than zero then the monster hits back. So then we say player attack, uh, player health, player health minus equals monster attack. So it's just the reverse. Okay, and then in the situation where the monster is attacking, which we won't kind of have yet, but then we just kind of switch these around. So player attack minus equals monster attack. And uh, then if the player is still alive, and the player hits back. So player attack minus equal monster attack. Sorry, player health minus equal monster attack. If player health is greater than zero, then monster health minus equal player attack. Okay, and then we just return one. Okay, so save that and let's add that into our dot each. So right at the bottom, I guess. Okay, so now where are we calling it? Um, so we have this check position function, which is in player.c, I believe. Yeah, so here, if we run into a uh, floor or hallway or door and then we just keep going and then for all other cases we just move 
uh, no, sorry, for all other cases, we don't move. So we want to add new cases here. So case X, which is the spider, case G, which is the goblin, and case T, which is the troll. And those are all the monsters we have. So in that case, we're going to call our combat function and we pass it our user and the monster. Now, in this check position, we don't have we don't have access to any of the monsters and we certainly don't have access to the monster that we're running into. So we need to do a few things here. We're going to change check position to instead of taking player, user and these chars, we're going to change it to take the level struct. So the level struct it contains all these uh, just yeah so level star level and then just to make things simple we'll declare the player user here so player star player star user we'll say user equals level user okay so then we don't need to change that or that or any of those things Okay, and so now we have access to, oh, and this has to be a, so this used to be the char star star level, but then if you check our rogue.h, the same thing is contained right here in our tiles, char star star tiles within the level. So this goes to tiles, level tiles. Okay, so now we want to get our monster. So we can't just, we have an array of monsters, right? But we don't know which monster it is. So what we can do is when we try and, when we call this combat, which takes a player and a monster, we can pass it a function that finds us that monster. So we're gonna say get monster at and this will take a position and that position is going to be this new position because that's what we've run into we run into that position and there's a monster there so we're going to get that monster so we got to write this function in monster.c so i'll open that up and we'll write it at the end so get monster at takes a position position star position well oh it returns a monster monster pointer let's just add that to our .h so we don't forget as I often do so I'll be in our monster functions which we have quite a few of so get monster at good okay so what's this gonna do it's going to loop through all our monsters and we know there is a monster there, so that's kind of helpful. We don't really have to do error checking for now. So we need a counter variable int x. We're going to say 4, x equals 0. x is less than 6, because remember that that's the maximum number of monsters that there can be, and x plus plus. And then we're going to loop through. Oh, this also needs to take the array of monsters. So monster star star monsters so let's update update that and in our when we call it from player.c here get monster at new position and level monsters oops Okay, so that's how that should look. Now, so remember this get monster at, it just returns a monster. So combat takes a player and a monster and gets monster at returns a monster. So that's how that work. That is how that function is working. Okay, so where are we? Where are we? Get monster at. So we're looping through all our monsters and we're going to say if position remember we're trying to get the monster at this position so if position y 
is equal to monsters x. So remember, we're looping through all the monsters. Position y and and uh, we need to add another bracket there. And we'll just copy and paste this. So we're just testing if the positions are the same. So just change these to x, add another bracket. So if that's the case, then we're just gonna return monster x, right? Monsters x. Because the positions are exactly the same, therefore that is the monster. And else, I guess, return zero. Uh, return null, I should say. But this should never run. Okay, so, okay, now the other thing we wanna do is in our combat is we want to test if we've killed the monster. So order equals is one. If monster health is greater than zero, then the monster attacks else else we'll just say monster or destroy monster so destroy monster and we'll pass the monster that we are dealing with into that function so now we have to write this destroy monster and let's write it right after create monster Actually, I think we should call it kill monster because we're not actually going to free it. So kill monster and yeah, let's change that to kill. Um, Cause we've malloced our monsters. So eventually we're gonna have to free those, but not yet. So kill monster, monster star monster. And what we're gonna do is we're going to move print w to where the monster is and basically right over him so monster position y and monster position x and just write a floor tile okay then what we're going to do is we're going to add a flag for our monster to determine whether or not that monster is alive or not. So we're gonna say int alive. So when we create our monster, we'll set that to one. Right here and create monster. So new monster alive equals one. And then in kill monster, we'll set that to zero. So monster alive equals zero. Now in our move monster function, I know we're just jumping around functions like crazy here, but okay, so in our move monsters function, which is in monster.c, which is already open. Um, so move monsters, here we kind of reprint all our monsters. Now remember, we've just killed the monster and we've written over him. So if we rerun this function with that monster, then the monster will just appear again. So what we're gonna do is put an if statement here and we're gonna say if the current monster that we're looping through, because remember this is a loop that goes through all the monsters. So if level monster x is, uh, sorry, alive is equal to zero, then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna continue, which will just skip that monster and go to the next monster. Okay, so a lot going on there. Um, Let's see, we need to add that kill monster, or yeah, kill monster function in to our dot h. So just copy that, put it in there. Uh, and that returns, I guess, an integer, right? Oh, that needs a semicolon. Okay, so yeah, that needs an, that's an int. Return one. Okay, now let's let's try this. 
So we'll make it and hit some errors. So monster.c 105. Uh, this needs to be a string of characters, not a single character. So try again. Conflicting types for check position. Okay, yeah, so remember we changed this to it just takes a level pointer. So level star level. So that's check position in dot h. Clear it, make main.c18. So this should now just take level. That's all it needs. So clear, make in player.c78 and we need to pass it remember is it the player attacking or the monster attacking so one means it's the player zero means it's the monster so one no sorry that's the wrong that's in get monster at outside of this bracket okay i think that's all those errors clear it make it hey there we go Okay, so let's see if we can kill that spider over there. So we're gonna go up and we're just gonna try and attack him. So he's kind of always moving. And it doesn't seem to be working. So let's, uh, you know, I think I know what the issue is. Remember at the start of this tutorial, we, uh, we didn't have an attack variable for the player. Now, I don't think we actually set that. So we added it in, we added it in, but we didn't initialize it. So in player.c create player, player setup. Yeah, we need to add that in there. So we are attacking the monster, just we had zero attack. So let's set that to one just for now. Equals one. All right, and let's try again. Okay, so here's a goblin. Boom, gone. Take that, you goblin. Try and get the spider. Boom, gone. And let's just kill one more, just for the fun of it. Boom, gone. Okay, so there's still, you know, some things we're gonna wanna work out. Right now the monsters can't attack us um, when we're just walking around, I don't think. But we'll try and maybe add that in and, and do some other stuff, so. Yeah, we can finally kill monsters in this game. That's pretty sweet.